Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. Hey, Tosin, I've been trying to call you, but anyway, I just have a quick question. How do I communicate? Hey, can you imagine the guy I'm talking to has bad body odor? What do I do? Hi! Tell me why I introduced this girl to my boyfriend. As she DMs him on Instagram telling him that I'm not the one for him, he's not the one for me. What happened to girl code? What happened to sisterhood? Girl, my man, my man, my man, my man! Tosin, honestly, I'm sick of this girl. Like, I'm so fed up of this friendship. I've never had someone be so judgmental towards me. He said I'm good enough. Shit that I shouldn't know. So I tell him it's one of me. He making fun of me. His girl is a bum to me. Like that boy is a cap. Saying he home, but I know where he at. Like, but he blowing her back. Think about me, cause he know that it's fat. And it been what it been. Calling his phone like he'll send me a pen. Look at my shit, cause he know what I'm on. But when he hit me, I'm not gonna respond. But I don't sleep enough without you. And I can't eat enough without you. If you don't speak, does that mean we're through? Don't like sneaky shit that you do. Since I do not have a man, I decided to dress up like we go for a girls' night and you know. What's up guys, your girl Tosin, also known as BGT. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tosin. I do lifestyle content. I do a little bit of everything, honestly. Stick around. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for returning. The girl is back. So you already know by the title, it's gonna be a girl talk today. So I need you to grab your glass and your wine. Cheers. So if you're a boy, please click off this video. You don't need to know about our business. You're in my business. Yeah, don't do that. Anywho. And if you're a girl, tap in, send to a friend, get your girlfriends together, cause the questions you guys sent, juicy, just what I need, a little bit of everything, just what I like. Thank you so much for everyone who participated, send messages. So without any further ado, let's get into these questions. What is your love language in hierarchy? Oh, actually, acts of service, quality time, gift giving, words of affirmation, and um, last one. Last one. Physical touch. The reason why physical touch last is because I do love to be touched. Like one thing about me, I want to be held. It's so easy to be held by someone that is not worth your time. That I've had to just love struggle down just because it's last. Are you in a relationship? No, I'm not. I am single. Ready to mingle? Okay. Can you stay friends with an ex? Be so for real. This question depends. Now, like me, I'm so sorry. We have to go through it one year, no contact. I just need time away from you to detach completely. From detaching from you, I can definitely now get over it. And when we now get back together, we have to be intentional about making this a friendship, not just saying, oh, okay, this is just a friendship, because it's very blurry when we do, when people do things like that. But if you say that this is a friendship and like working away to realign yourself as friends, then it will definitely work. But if you know you still have feelings for that man and you trying to be his friend, yeah, be so for real. Confidence tips, I always say this in like every video I do where I do chit chat, you need to start keeping your promises to yourself. Like if you want inner confidence, like confidence that has foundation that is built on your own, trust yourself. Regardless of the situation, you got this. That's really how to build true confidence. These other things may fade away, your beauty may fade away, your job may be taken away, your status may be taken away, your money may be taken away, but what you cannot take away is you, your essence. And that's really what you need to bank on if you want to really develop like true self-confidence. I know you said this story many times, but I just want to know how you dealt with your breakup. Like, are you better now? Like, better, better? Yes, I am actually better, better. <laughs> I'm actually better, better. Thank you for asking a million times. I'm in a space where like I'm open to like dating again, and I'm really happy I took that time off not date and really like focus on myself. It really was a good like thing to just like heal from everything. Not like the relationship really, the relationship didn't give me any trauma. It's just like just heal from everything from like childhood, from every single any single thing that I've not dealt with. Just learn like a good break to just deal with everything since I'm still young and I don't have that much responsibilities. Now I'm like, I would say my healthier self, like I would, I'm very open to dating. Um, yeah, I'm very open to dating. 
my life right now is that just adventure time just our peace like there's nothing i will protect more in this life than my peace of mind do you feel pressure to portray slash live the black girl luxury lifestyle i'm a firm believer of cut your coats according to your size like it's never that serious like at all it's never that deep these people that are like maybe that they have that some of them are gifted some of them are from their parents some of them maybe they do have the bag and they get it but like these are things they're gonna fade away at the end of the day it doesn't mean you have to blow a bank like this is from plt girl if you guys want me to do a haul let me know in the comments how to just love yourself i never feel enough i keep giving myself to boys just to feel i think what made me feel loved was honestly really like getting into my spiritual journey made me feel loved i think i always like would look out for others to be feel that way but once i really stopped and i looked above i learned that god is love and love is god and he knows love more than anybody in the world so if he knows love and i know him then i can know love and then i can learn how to love myself and even just like learning about what love is like one book i read that like i just changed my life about love is all about love by bell hooks that book eats down like it eats down and when i read it i just realized like just realized how i've been doing this love thing like wrong all this while and i've been stressed out and i've been doing so much and i've been abandoning myself i've been abandoning myself and that isn't noble there's nothing noble about that there's nothing rewarding about that it just makes you feel resentful angry tired dream worn out and you don't even recognize yourself because you're becoming something that of something that you should have never been doing in the first place so i'll say how to love yourself starts with accepting who you are and that may not be a day's journey because it does take a while before you really truly love yourself and i definitely still am in the process of even loving myself from like hating myself when i was younger to just like liking myself to then loving myself it definitely took years i'm 23 24 23 so it definitely took a while i did start one day at a time so i think instead of trying to start loving yourself immediately maybe just start liking yourself Maybe find things that you like about yourself. Maybe do things that you do want to do. And keeping your promises to yourself helps you build more confidence. It makes you feel good about yourself. And eventually you start liking yourself. And eventually one day you don't know when it happens, you start loving yourself. Because you realize that even though you did trust yourself and you got here, you're accepting the parts where you didn't trust yourself. Then you start to see your humanity. How do you create boundaries and not feel bad about enforcing them? The first time you set boundaries is rough because you've never done it before and you always feel guilty because it feels like you're being selfish and you feel soft because you've always abandoned yourself when you never had boundaries how did i overcome that i just kept on pushing past the feeling because once you decide to do something different and change as a person there's always going to be resistance i didn't i didn't know that before i thought that resistance meant that i should just stay where i am so how i create boundaries is i communicate them i don't over explain myself like when I say this is it, I'm not over explaining myself. I'm giving you as much information that I feel comfortable. If I feel uncomfortable, I speak up. Part of it is wisdom from God and part of it is from the books that I've been led to read. But one of the books that really started in my healing journey that really, really, really helped me have boundaries and find peace. And I don't know the name of the author, like I can't pronounce her name, but she's a black author. That book is so good and it gives you prompts how you should respond in terms of different boundaries. And it also explaining like how people react to different types of like when you set boundaries the different ways somebody may react and like how you should handle that it's a really good self-help book that helped me have like a good foundation like what boundaries were and then along the way i just kind of learned and practiced and if i felt like i stumbled so i'll just go back to it and just kind of read on like what way this could be and honestly that's really what i've been doing so far the more you keep enforcing them the more you stop abandoning yourself and see yourself as the priority the less you feel bad about enforcing those boundaries do you have a crush? No, I can't do him. I actually do have a crush on my big head, I know. But the thing is, he's fine. Um, I'll keep the fifth. <laughs> but all I can say is, he's a bit of me. 
do you do you any tips to manage your finances oh that's a good question i currently just started investing and i got help from like my friend who's really 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 good in investing shout out to him also use this app called world simple i'm in canada right now so I use the app well simple to trade. I'm also buying books that help develop my financial literacy. Though I do have an accounting background, I still feel like in terms of personal finance, like I'm not so strong. Following influencers that are really, really good with like finances. Yes, I think you guys should follow if you're looking for that money. Ready, ready the resource. When it comes to anything money, I'm always tuned in because the girl be giving the girls tip and I'm here for it. I personally, I'm still a beginner. I'm still a learner just like you. But one thing I will also say is budgeting leave it below your means that doesn't mean you should look rough because you're not spending that much money my boyfriend always asks for the name of my girlfriends i post and calls them hot and fine Criminal he's, good away. he's also being just on bb like he's moving mad he's moving a bit mad he's moving a bit mad what do you do when you feel like you're behind in everything i'm not sure if you make it basically stir up my life right now um i am finishing like university i'm like 23 i do not have a job i'm chasing my dreams i'm not being paid like enough to say i can live off my dream apart from all this things i said i still believe any like perfect plan i have for myself i've scattered it like i've scattered every perfect plan for my life and i'm living a very unique journey and i had to surrender myself to god to know that it's not by my power, it's not by my will. He has a purpose for me and it's better than anything that I can imagine because it always brings me peace of mind. Jeremiah 29 11, like it will always bring me peace of mind for he knows the plans that he has for me. Believing in God and trusting God has helped me stand so strong. I don't think I'll be this strong if I was not believing in God and that's just facts. It's the grace of God and just picking yourself up, getting up and trying again, getting up and trying again. The path to success is a loss of failures, it's a loss of L's, it's a loss of rejections. You have to be able to build that muscle, like they're going to get rejected a lot, you're going to be so many setbacks. Are you tough enough to handle those setbacks? That's the question you should be asking yourself. And are you going to keep on fighting or are you going to fold? And baby, I'm not folding. That's one thing about me, I'm not folding, I'm going to keep fighting. Like. And that's just on period. Like I'm gonna keep fighting, and I want you to keep fighting too because it does get better. But if you stop, you'll never know. What would you call a situation? Anything that is not defined clearly, anything that causes confusion, but you guys are still doing mommy and daddy, like anything that if, that's what I would define a situation as. My ex and I broke up in October, and I can't even lie, it was my fault. Girl, what you do? I did things I shouldn't have and it was already too late by the time I wanted to start making it up to him But we are cool And you know the thing about exes being cool one thing will lead to another and he'll come over to my place Or I'll go over to his I will end up Smashing and I thought about it and I decided it was time to really move on Fast forward to Valentine's he texted me just to check up on me and after a usual calm conversation he asked if he could come over, I stood my ground and said, no, okay. And it was no big deal, only for him to call me two days later to tell me he's interested in my best friend. What? Bombastic and they've been talking and he really wants to see where things go. So he just wanted to tell me so I don't find out any other way. I was pissed and I blocked him, period. Criminal offense. Like what? And the best friend too. What the best friend? What like I don't. I I then texted her and asked her about it, and she said, "Yeah, they've been talking, and she doesn't mind seeing where things go with him." I just said her number, and we haven't spoken since. My question is, I love how we, we've been friends for five years. Did I overreact? And should I have listened more? Of? No, you did not overreact. That is ridiculous. What she did. If anything, you acted very classy because I can't lie to you. That that. I don't think you should have listened to anything she said. Like that is ridiculous. Like time does not so match the quality of friendship. This is not something that a best friend would do at all. I don't think you should have listened anymore. I think what you did was the best that you could do. There's really nothing more that you can't say. Because at the end of the day, like I think there's so many men out there. Like why is it the one that you're dating that she wants to get to know? Like be so for real.
I would just have one more conversation and like just ask the questions you want to ask and like get what you need to get and from then just move accordingly I think you need time to process what is just happening because it's a lot it's a lot to like process and I think you need to really think about what you want to really ask her not just ask her out of emotion but just like why doesn't my crush like me back like same sis like same same why doesn't my crush like me back like what? Like I don't know. I, honestly, I can't answer this question. My question is like me back to. So we're both in the same shoes. And you know what? Sometimes you just have to move on. You just have to move on. Focus on your focus. I'm free or crush. I just want to be peaceful. I don't care about other people's opinion about me. But I do any tips to get over that. I will always say who is going to be to me. I think that's my approach to life and I don't hyper focus on what other people may think because the reality of who you are is always going to triumph whatever people's perception of who you are is because that is not the reality of who you are that is not a factual representation of who you are people's opinions is based off of their own perception of who you are not the reality of who you are so what is more valid is the reality of who you are not the perception of other people's opinions on you the wine is hitting. Mm. I tend to judge myself by my past mistakes. How do you get out of that? Like I was really, really hard on myself. And I think that's actually related to the fact that I'm a firstborn child. So I always felt like I needed to be the perfect example. I was putting so much pressure on myself, like that nobody put on me and I was always people pleasing like my parents because I just wanted to be the obedient good girl like I had to drop all of that I did was I had to separate myself from my mistakes and not define myself by my mistakes I'm not a mistake I'm not my mistakes I had to say that a lot to myself I was like I'm not my mistakes I'm not my mistakes I'm not my mistakes I did make mistakes but those mistakes don't define me my past does not define me I have the right to be, I can change at any point, like look at me right now, like I can change at any point, I don't have to be stuck in this lie that the enemy keeps on telling me that I'm, I'm this, I'm that, I'm not that, I'm not this, I did those things, but th those things are not who I am, I am powerful, I am whole, I'm complete, I'm God's expression of love in the shape of a beautiful black woman, I am courageous, I am fearless, I am limitless, I can do all Christ who strengthens me, you have to speak life into yourself. How do you ask a guy for money? You just do like this, like, can I get some money, baby? Most of the time, I'm just giving. I've never had to ask, but when I do ask, if they don't have, they give it to you. Also, I've learned from like my guy friends telling me this, like the way they reach you, like that's why it's very, very important to make sure that you take good care of yourself. You don't just treat yourself anyhow. You're used to money. You're not tripped out by money because when they notice that you're tripped out by money, that's what the madness starts because they start saying, Oh, I'm introduced to a lifestyle you cannot afford by yourself. That's when the disrespect starts, that's when all that rubbish starts. But if they know that already on your ones, you take care of yourself, you treat yourself nice, like, like they know the type of caliber of babe you are, and like they treat you as such. Pro tip if he's bored, you know, like genies, you just rub the lamp, you just rub the head, the money starts float. Not a question, but super proud of you and could definitely relate to all you spoke about. Thank you, girl. Now for the question, how would you advise girls on the healing journey? Well, let me tell you something. Healing journey is the ghettoest thing ever. I see why people do not heal. I see why people remain toxic. It's a ride. I'm gonna say that don't expect to go linear. There's gonna be a lot of ups and downs and ups and downs and ups and downs. And through those ups and downs, you have to practice self-compassion because sometimes you may go back, but then it's like a boomerang. When you go back long enough and you shoot out, it's like, exponentially further than you ever think very lonely it's very painful it's it's almost like a rebirth you're like dying to your old self and you're coming into your new self and on the other side of it it's the most beautiful thing ever how i describe it i feel like a different i mean i am a different person from when i started but i just feel more at peace with myself i feel more at peace with my choices i'm loving the woman i'm becoming i'm happy that i'm healthy i'm happy that i hope again i believe again i have faith again i love again like 
and i don't know like it's it's painful but like it's worth the after so my tips would be don't be too hard on yourself the healing journey is not going to happen in one day in one month like i started my healing journey in 2021 it's 2023 so it's a long it's been a while so it's not going to happen in one day one year even there's some things i'm still like trying to heal from from like being aware of them in 2021 so it's a lot of unlearning and relearning and it's a lot of difficult decisions that are good for you but do not feel good when you're doing them not gonna lie you have to face yourself and that's not something that is always the easiest but if you hold on forever however long you hold on for the other side is so beautiful which is why i always tell people to heal because it's so freeing on the other side and like it's not like i'm fully healed it's still a journey but i'm happy that i've upgraded my mindset from where my pain was to now that is today and i can say like i'm probably matching my actual age with my level of reasoning and thinking my man and i have been married for eight months now he's the most sweet and caring man that's cute i could ever ask but my problem is his his doesn't seem to satisfy me enough he has like not so big but not little either but i feel like he's not hitting my g-spot i love him so much but don't know what to do i'm not going to lie to you you need to call a family you have to actually call a family so i'm telling you that okay you know i'm famished i'm hungry you have to call a family meeting and tell that guy I'm hungry. You have stabbed me for so long. I feel like it doesn't really matter the size. It matters how you work it. Like, I think that's the most important thing. The second thing is, I think you should communicate with him while you guys are in the act. Because I feel like that's a more distressed position. And there's ways you can see that he may be like, oh, okay, I can do it this way and that way. Like you said, he's a very loving and sweet guy. So I don't think he would take offense to you if you communicate during those periods. Or if you want to be more like descriptive and then say everything, then I think you should do it. Binga, I'm not satisfied. Binga, I can't lie, I've been lying to you, this so I'll not be satisfied. And then you may even be surprised, he may be telling you things that, like maybe you two don't even satisfy, you don't even know, but as long as you got it out of your chest, because it was a long time, and from the way you're talking about is that you guys probably waited for marriage. You never like i don't think god said you should wait to suffer so i think you need to communicate and tell him like how you really feel do you ever feel like you are no one's favorite person anxiety imposter syndrome lonely do i ever feel lonely no i am alone most of the times but i'm never lonely because god fills me up so i am never really like alone and i really do believe that i'm not just saying it because it sounds like nice like i really do feel god like fills me up makes me feel more whole and complete in myself but i am alone most of the time imposter syndrome of course yes i definitely felt imposter syndrome last year and i think it has a lot to do with like receiving the goodness of life like i usually always cringe or feel uncomfortable by that i think it was part of myself feeling like do i really deserve these things but i think the more i like really got into god's word and like learning that it's like you can never earn his love you can never earn his goodness he just gives it to you freely you just have to be open to receive so this year just me being open to receive that if i am called to do something then i am more than capable because he knows better than i do he knows me more than i know me he knows the me that i have not even met in terms of not being anyone's favorite person i have felt like that like i feel you on that but i just became my own favorite person i really enjoy spending time with myself i really don't like i try new things i read i spend a lot of time with myself so i'm just like falling in love with myself and i became my favorite person it would be nice to be someone's favorite person i do pray that one day i am someone's favorite person but yeah until that time comes i'm my favorite person I think that's the end of the video thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode it was so fun to get to know your tea and give you guys advice um, i love you guys so much thank you guys for all the love all the care like everything like it means the world to me genuinely speaking thanks to all my beautiful women out there thank you so much for tuning in to this girl talk i hope you got some things and if you have advice for anyone in the share that dilemma please leave it in the comment section below because 
share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about your girl toasted today. I'm gonna be signing out. Stay beautiful. Bye. You see that I'm good enough. Don't my good enough. Think about shit that I shouldn't know.